Uh, my name is Chris and I work for T-Systems, which is a subsidiary of Deutsche Telekom in Germany, providing fixed line, mobile and IT solutions. Uh, we are reselling Salesforce licenses, uh, so we're going through the whole cycle of customer demos and making negotiations and for the demo part, this absolutely uh, solves the problem that we used to uh, have a lot of orgs and a lot of preparation for the demos and we don't know how they relate to the opportunities and now that app actually solves the problem so it attaches demos to opportunities and allows to uh, get a controlled flow of information with related to this opportunity. First of all, it shortens the time to find somebody who can work on these demos because we have some system engineers uh, that are not always available and they're working on different projects so we're trying to figure out um, then who is the best person to match for this so they can apply to a customer demo as candidates, they can be selected, they can be notified after the selection process and then start working on the opportunity and get all the information right for the demo that they need. And in addition to that, it actually collects the efforts and cost and time which have been done for the demo. So um, in the end, you can actually see how much effort uh, you spend on the demo for the customer and for the opportunity. First of all, um, there's an existing opportunity um, that I have here now, this is the Burlington Textile. And as you can see, uh, if I scroll down a little bit on the related list, there's the customer demos that I have already requested. And for the uh, requested demo, there is uh, the upsell demo. It has a date and it has some um, kind of like efforts already collected on it. And uh, what I see under this related list is that there are, oops, Siri kicking in. Uh, that there are already some demo candidates which uh, supplied. So when I uh, take one of those uh, demo candidates, um, I see it was just entered and I can change the status right now to being submitted. So if I submit my candidate profile, this gets saved and actually I get a notification and as the guy who requested the demo, um, I could actually show that in Shatter because um, scrolling through a little bit. Um, so I should get the new post which says a candidate applied for your demo. So I already know what there is. So I go back to the candidates and uh, once I selected the candidates, which was selected in here and I changed the status from submitted to selected, then I wonder It was saved and uh, now I get another set, um, notification and uh, this new post actually as the candidate tells me that I was selected to contribute to the demo and all the information is already there. It also uh, gives us a number of uh, tasks that can be created and in the end if you take a look at the dashboard, that's the second functionality I would like to share, is uh, that I can take the efforts for the individual uh, opportunities and then get calculated on which one were successful, which one failed, and so I have a good view on how much effort I put into good opportunities and not. Uh, it was really cool to be in the spot of saying, well, there's one hour to plan, one hour to build, and um, I almost did everything in within this hour. It was really great. Uh, so I could use the uh, laptop, which was available over here. I could log in with my credentials from anywhere in the world, this today from Dreamforce, and I could create the app uh, very, very easily and with just some clicks. Actually, I'm going to propose to my boss that we can migrate it from my developer org to the production org that we're just about to set up so that we can really use it in our daily life for our sellers and uh, engineers so they can collaborate on that.